hey, just really, really happy for our players and our program uh, to, to get this far. And, um, you know, it's a quick turnaround. Uh, Got to congratulate East Tennessee State for really – they were one of the hottest teams in the league coming in. And so uh, played a heck of a game yesterday. Uh, tough, tough, physical team that guards hard and, and gave us uh, quite a bit of problems. But <clears throat> I want to um, – give a shout out to our players of being in attack mode. I felt like we did a really good job um, of um, trying to get downhill, um, which led us to the free throw line. And, you know, for us, we've led the league in, in um, rebounding. And I thought the toughness and rebounding battle was going to be the key to the, the, the game. And so uh, to get 48 rebounds, 19 offensive, and the, the last time we played them, their, their press gave us so many problems and I think we turned it over twice on the press but 11 turnovers we want 12 or less to 10 assists just just really proud of our overall effort and brought up our bench our bench was fantastic um, they were alive they were um, positive giving positive reinforcements calling out things so at the end of the day um, great job by our coaching staff to get this team ready and a uh, great job by our players um, coming out ready to play. And it was really quick, but it was, it was a team effort. So, um, you know, we have one coach that's this – is, this is her scout. Um, but I'm going to tell you what, we had a late night. So, so we showed film. We got together. We, we changed our minds about ten times on how we're going to guard things. And ultimately, before we left that room, we were all together on how we're going to guard. And, uh, you know, they've got some really good players like Carly Hooks. We knew um, we couldn't let her get off to a good start. And doggone, she started out two for two. Um, she got in a little bit of foul trouble, which really hurt them for half, her having to sit down. But she ended up with 20 points. She's had a, a heck of a freshman year. And then Ja'Kiah Davis is just – she's low down there. Um, so, um, just the, the quick turnaround. But I, I, I'll give all our credit to our assistant coaches. Uh, for getting a game plan together, but then for our players to buy into that and just buy, really buy into concepts. So really happy about all that. Just a reminder to those on the call, please make sure you are muted. Uh, if you are not muted, uh, we're, we're picking up uh, extra feedback. So please make sure you are muted. Uh, I think, Mr. Jarrett, I think you might be muted or not muted, if you can, please. Um, Heather Williams from WCYB, if you will, please, with your question. Hey coach, congratulations on the win. Um, you mentioned ETSU was one of the hottest teams uh, heading into this. What kind of difference or improvement did you see in them compared to when you played them earlier in the year? I think they just had a lot of confidence. <laughs> they they had a lot of it. They played, you know, uh, Mercer into overtime. And I'm sure when they look back at that game, they felt like they should have won. Um, and then coming in here to, you know, uh, they could have won that one and then beaten uh, Sanford, the number one team coming in. I'm, I'm sure no one gave them a chance to win. Um, and they played with a chip on their shoulder. And anytime you back somebody into the corner um, that is strong and athletic as they are uh, with a chip on their shoulder, they're, they're going to come out and prove people wrong. And Brittany just does an amazing job of keying into that and getting them to play to their potential. Um, and I thought their coaching staff did a, did a great job preparing them. Um, that the season wasn't over for them, all right? You, hey, let's keep playing. And so we knew we were facing a, a tough team um, that wanted to prove something. Uh, you know, when we played them our second game, first game, we handed it to them fairly well. Um, and then the second game, honestly, they outplayed us. They should have won that game. It was double overtime. We happened to make a couple more shots and got a stop down the stretch. But honestly, they outplayed us. And and we knew they wanted to get that one back. But, uh, but I'll uh, – you know, I, I'm really proud of, of our players of locking in and, and getting the job done. You know what? Honestly, um, I don't think I'm going to take that approach. Um, you know, we made history today that we already talked about um, of first team in school history to ever get to the finals. So um, that's going to be good enough for us right now. And then as we start preparing, um, you know, we're going to celebrate that win. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we don't want to be done. We want to win our last game. That's, what, that's the goal. Of, that's the goal. Of you. you win your last game, and you're going to hang some banners and get some rings. So, but we know that, you know, the two teams that are left, uh, Mercer and Furman, they're outstanding programs. They got great players. Um, 
whoever it is, uh, it'll take our absolute best, our absolute best to come out on top.